must get our freedom or we shall die trying. How do you feel? I feel like anxious. I feel like speaking in, in the vernacular. <laughs> <laughs> No get a Rusoka. Sam Nani do we eh? When I have a vehicle live, Sam Nani is a chiro to get a cubera co. Live to get you running to get a cubusaba as a New York. Mamma Uganda Banangi, Basebo Neba Nyabu, Kamba and Judy Day. Ba Ali Hila, Holdings Uganda Limited, Banoba Kafuru Mukuzimba Mayumba Agari Kumulembe, Plumbing, Electrical Installation and General Construction, Biodigester Septic Tank and many more Toda Mukukaba. Ngaba Ali Hila, Holdings Uganda Limited, Webari Okukuyamba. Wabeta ze na yagaro kumanye visinga kao kuba kunamba ze simu ezidi yao Unaba fede o yagala kute na mazimu nyumba yo oba masanyala ze Kuba kunamba ze simu ezidi yao obo tusange kwa ofisi za fe Ezi sangibwa ku Grand Imperial Hotel Jukira Jefeba Adihira Holdings Uganda Limited Have it all. I must tell you this, ladies and gentlemen, the music you are about to witness is band music. Okay, we cannot perform this all because we are abolished by the government. So watch out, you are about to enjoy the music. I am loving you to the maximum, all the people from all walks of life. We bring love from Africa. Welcome to Africa, although not physically, but spiritually, and culturally, and musically.
ladies and gentlemen, that was it for this afternoon. You enjoy the rest of the day. Come on, man, come on. Let me say this. Let me say this before any before we go any further. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't take it for granted that we are able to perform to you. We come from Uganda, but our fans and friends in Uganda can only watch us perform on social media. And they can only watch us on Facebook when they go through VPN because Facebook is banned also in Uganda. Our music is banned in Uganda because I committed the worst crime and that is contesting and defeating General Seveni for the president. So while you are enjoying the music, I'm glad to inform you that the president, the real president of Uganda is performing for you today. But that on the side, that on the side, I have a brother and friend here, his name is Nubian Lee. He's the one that seconded me when I was being nominated. And for that, he was arrested and spent seven months in prison. It is the first time that we get opportunity to perform free together. And while you enjoy, we are enjoying twice.
not take your freedom for granted. It's always one step away from extinction. Here we are, doing what should have been done by our grandfathers and mothers, by our fathers and mothers. And we're doing it because we want to save that youth from our children. We want to be free like everybody else in the world. But it's not going to take on the Ugandan ladies and gentlemen. We travel all the way to come and perform to all of you, the people of America. Like my brother said, oppression anywhere on earth is a threat to freedom everywhere on earth. For a long time, dictators have been tolerated in distant places because they believe that is none of their business. I want to tell you, Americans, the freedom in Africa, you are part of it, whether you know or you don't know. We are responsible for each other. If I had the opportunity, I would be performing to the politicians in America. But I'm performing to people that are more important than politicians, and that is you, the taxpayers. The USA gives up to a billion dollars every year to General Yoweri Museveni. That is the money that is being used to kill our people, to oppress our people, to imprison our people for no crime whatsoever. And we know that if you push your leaders to change the policies in Africa, you can save us. We are not asking you to come and save us, we are asking you to stop sponsoring our oppression. We know that you have the freedom that we are for. You have the ability to call your leaders, your representatives in Congress, and tell them to stop sponsoring genocide in Africa. To stop sponsoring military dictators in Africa. I'm saying this on behalf of the 45 million people in Uganda. And I know it's not any different in Sudan, it's not any different in Congo, it's not any different in Somalia and many other parts in Africa. Last year I traveled to Ukraine in the middle of the war and I witnessed firsthand the oppression and the massacre that was in Bucha. It was shocking, it should be for them. I want to tell you that that happens regularly in Africa on the 18th and 19th of November 2018. More than 200 people, including women and children, were massacred on the street. Yes, it was condemned by the U.S., but a few months later, they used to only power again the same man that was being used to kill our So you can save us. Just tweet about it. Tell your congressmen. Tell them. Just like Black Lives Matter, African Lives Matter too. When we can change, we can do it all together. We should be united forces of change all over the world. That's the world.
to sing, but I also take long to get opportunity to speak to you, so I don't know what you're doing now. But I'll say this, friends. Later on, we are going to watch a film, a true film from Uganda. I'm very glad that I was able to perform for you before the film, because now you can afford to smile. But no matter what you see in the film, I know many people wonder how we even get the energy to sing and dance. How we even able to smile. We know that we're going to home. We are able to think ahead because we choose faith over fear. We are able to keep going because we know oppressed people can never stay oppressed forever. We are able to go on because we know that what it means is going to be alright. And I want to use this song of hope to send a message of hope to everybody in the world. We are going to send the message of hope.